we have uh, Mr. Dan Loney. Uh, big that guy sucks. <laughs> I like him. Big time writer for Gold. No, I'm not just going to say Gold.com just to, to tug you. But it's big soccer, folks. Big soccer, Gold. really. Tom wouldn't have me on the last day they were on the mat. <laughs> one, of our, one of our only fa- were, favorite guys. Hate and sexual favors, and they wouldn't have me. <laughs> hey, they they do a great job with with unsolicited. Un- I don't know if you want up to the minute coverage, but yeah, <laughs> I was going to say that. Nothing. Yeah, unproven, um, unproven, unsubstantiated uh, rumors are really good. There, um, you get them all the time. It's a fantastic place to go for those. Uh, hey, by the way. You know, speaking of that, Dan, how do you think Tony Santa feels now at this point since that whole uh, uh, Timmy Chandler thing going back to Germany just totally didn't pan out at all and made everyone panic? <laughs> well, forgive my ignorance. What, I know Tony Santa played oh. before. <laughs> what, what's Tony Santa's connection with? As far oh, as I know he's hanging around the galaxy. He's, he yeah, he's always got the inside. He's got an inside connection with. Uh... Nurem- Timmy team. Yeah, Nuremberg, right? So yeah. he launched a Twitter that started off the whole Timmy Chandler is not actually. He is being courted by the German national team. There that was lo- Santa that started that. I thought that, oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Well, he, 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 definitely, uh, he definitely stated it, but he also came back after a couple people retweeted him saying that, you know, it is just a rumor. This is what I'm being told. Yeah. So he, flat, uh, he flat out, but I, don't, I don't know if you, uh, do you frequent the uh, forums on Big Soccer, Dan? I do. I don't know how. I mean, I've heard that there was. I didn't know it came from Santa. I heard that there was a lot of hand wringing about whether the program could survive being without Timmy Chandler. <laughs> but I didn't know that it was it was Santa that was fanning those particular flames. Yeah, man, the boards exploded when that came out. Yeah, I. And in my small defense, I stopped paying attention to that when Freddie Adu was going to go play for Ghana. <laughs> it's. <laughs> Fair enough. I mean, the, or, uh, the, and right now it's like, where's Joe Benny Corona going to play? Well, you know, is, is he even get time for Tijuana? I mean, all these guys now yeah. who have eligible for two teams are pretty much auctioning off their services, and it's. I think it's something FIFA will end up having to look at at some point. Yeah, yeah. Right now, it's I don't, know, it's I don't know what they could say. I don't know what they do to do for it. That thing. Well, you what know, they, they can make it harder. Yeah. Right. The way to one time switch, maybe. <laughs> well, I know why they changed to begin with because yeah. you can't, uh, as soon as an 18 year old or, or yeah. young, making a lifetime decision. And that's hard to enforce. So they make it just in tournaments. But what you got now is people just sort of, well, play me or I'm betraying my country. <laughs> yeah. Right, right. <laughs> well, so it's the best. And fans get to erupt over the disloyalty. And the players get to just make themselves look incredibly petty. Maybe if you, maybe it's the best of all worlds. Yeah, well, we, we're hearing a lot of, uh, and, and I just want to clarify, you know, there were a lot of folks at Yanks Abroad about the Timmy Chandler thing who had interviewed him multiple times, and he'd said, I'm never switching over. So that Santa uh, Twitter actually, you know, many of them trickled into their pants wondering what happened to all all the interviews we did with this guy, you know. Well, that's... He, he's still going to yeah. flip-flop on us? Well, it wouldn't be. I mean, Subotic, and there's, it's not a short list of players who... Sure. And the U.S. has benefited as much as... Mm-hmm. Oh, more yes, than sure. a lot, So yeah. I really think it evens out. Yeah. I mean, we probably well, really could use Subotic, but... Um, God, <laughs> Mexico could probably use Edgar Castillo. Okay, well, no, maybe uh, it's not evening out right that second. <laughs> I don't think so. And, and Subotic and Dortmund need some help in the Champions League, but that's a whole other story. Um, all right, Dan. Well, we, we got farther than both Rossi and Subotic in the last World Cup. so That's true. What, what happened to that coach, by the way? That guy was... Oh, okay. Yeah, so they can both suck it, as far as we're concerned. <laughs> I'm not... You are not going to get an argument with me about that. <laughs> all right, Dan. Speaking of arguments, I know you're having some um, internals. Here, some conflictual feelings right now because there, you know, there was a big article out not a couple weeks ago, and I don't remember who wrote it. You know, God forgive me, but you know, and it, and it asked the question: Has Beckham ultimately, Mister David Beckham, Mister Tattoo himself, been good 
for MLS in the end. Is that, oh, I know which one you mean, and I'm also blanking on who wrote it. I want to say, well, a lot of people have written stuff like that. I know Nick Green, who's no Beckham fan, yeah. has been reevaluating him. Uh, financially, that argument's been settled a long time ago. He's been yeah. great. Yeah. Um, and that's all, I don't want to say that's all AEG cares about, because it's obvious I shouldn't have to say that. They, it's, they would do it again in a heartbeat. The only reason I don't think Beckham should come back is he'll sell more shirts when he, if he changes. Mm, true enough. I mean, that, it's, he is. It's. I don't want to belittle what he's done this this season. This one season out of five, he's been. <laughs> he hasn't been the two hundredth best player in the league, <laughs> and that's and it's benefit of the galaxy. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. But financially. I don't think it's as good for Beckham or for the Galaxy if he stays. I think Beckham makes a lot more. I think Queens Park Rangers Beckham shirts will sell a lot better than Galaxy Beckham shirts. Especially after the win today over Chelsea. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, you <laughs> even even if I mean even with Chelsea losing two players wasn't uh, a guaranteed win for QPR. Yeah, it's all another no. topic I know, but yeah, a little off topic, but so right. so so Dan, you know, on top of of Beckham definitely being good for the MLS, which we've clarified here. Uh, and, and I'll just be out front and say, uh, you know, Galaxy's my team, too. Um, Brett's the Chicago guy. We all know that. But, you. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what? Beckham, doesn't he have a good case this season for being the MVP as well? I mean, come on. Nope. <laughs> no. 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 Uh, MVP of the league? I don't see why not. Of, of Look at his Look at He's the assists. He's not the MVP of the team. Oh, look at the assists. Come on. A lot, a lot of guys. Why not Brad Davis then? I mean, if we're going, if you're going to go by one stat, that's my problem with just taking stuff out of context. Because if you just go by goals, for example, the scoring champ. Well, if Jeff Cameron scores twenty goals today against the Galaxy, he's not the MVP. Well, I agree with that. But I mean, when you but as far as the Galaxy is concerned. If you go by best player on the best team, that's Omar. Uh, that's Omar Gonzalez, and your second mm -hmm. choice is probably either Janino or Todd Donovan. I mean, the guys who have made that team win. But you know that's not going to happen. Team. Come on, Dan. You know that's not happening. Todd Donovan, MVP of the of the season. He's but he's he's played every well up until this game. He's played every minute. I mean, he's been just a revelation. No, of course he's it's been not great. Happen. I agree. Yeah. But that's uh, well, that's probably why Omar's not going to get it either. Mm -hmm. But as far as as far as MVP, Beckham has been replaceable. I mean, that's it. Well, it was proven last year. But the Galaxy have won without him. The Galaxy mm -hmm. have not won without Omar. Mm -hmm. No, the Galaxy have won without Landon, which is uh, which has derailed his. Uh, I mean, it never got started, but for a while, MV the MVP campaign was also around Landon. But yeah, he got hurt, and when he was playing, it, it just after, I guess, the Gold Cup, really, he just sort of got a knock, and, and the Galaxy have rolled merrily along, no matter who's in it. Like, Robbie Keane's been out for a month, and, I mean, they're probably going to lose right now, this game. Yeah. But, but, uh, you, but maybe I should have made it. No, I, I cannot justify <laughs> saying... That David Beckham is the league's MVP. When you have guys with, who definitely you can say their teams do not make the playoffs without him. Yeah. Well, no, no, no. I, I'll agree with that. I guess my point is that uh, uh, David this year, I thought whenever I've I've seen most of the games, I just think he's been uh, uh, spectacular. I think he's been what we were hoping for. If you had any common sense, but maybe I should have asked the question a different way, which is one: Who do you think? should be the MVP, and number two, who do you really think is going to be the MVP uh, <laughs> at the end of the season? Because that's kind of a different question. I mean, Boy, you, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, I've given, well, Omar, and I have no idea. This is going to be because usually they default to an offensive player. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or yep. it's mm -hmm. always, it's, it's almost always the goal-scoring champion. If it's not him, it's uh, the attacking midfielder, like when uh, Preki or Valderrama uh, won it. Yeah. I don't think you can do that. I don't think you should do that this year. Yeah. But that doesn't mean they're not going to, and they're not going to 
uh, give it to. See, yeah, you can't give it to Wondolowski for God's sake, <laughs> Mr. Procrastination. I mean, that's, yeah. Uh, well, right now, Dayro's on top of the goal list. Well, they're yeah, tied. Actually, but still. And that's see, that's the thing that you can't give it to a guy who missed the playoffs. Yeah. Well, DC United doesn't get that close without him. And if New York hadn't traded him, they probably would have had, wouldn't have needed to sweat up until last Thursday. On the other hand, what's a guy been traded twice this season? He's yeah. your MVP. Yeah. <laughs> it's he's the Tevez so, of the MLS. Yeah. Yeah. I could. The only way I could really see it, well, he should have won in 2005. So you know, we'll just give you this one as a lifetime achievement. But maybe. Th- so again, I've I have no idea. I mean, uh, Lexi Lawless has been saying Breck Shea, mm-hmm. and which is fine, except Dallas could have finished fourth without him. Mm-hmm. And uh, I want to say guys in absentia should be MVP. David Ferreira, or he could repeat <laughs> because Dallas ended up really needing him. I uh, and. I thought Dallas was doing a great job for a while there, and then they've just fallen down the stairs. Yeah, yeah. That's another topic. The other, or Chris Pontius <laughs> turned out to be the real MVP of the league <laughs> because as soon as he got hurt, <laughs> DC didn't win again all year. I don't think. Mm, that's I mean, a good like, point. Well, I guess you know there are different ways of looking at it. Um, but and then Seattle has you sort of well. Let's pick someone from Seattle, but who's the most important guy there? I don't think it's Montero. No, but that. Be- we're just going to look at the stats and go, oh, he's, yeah, he's had a, uh, what should have been his breakthrough year. Uh, he should have mm-hmm. been doing this all along. Yeah. Uh, but, again, he's not as important as uh, someone like Alonzo or yeah. uh, and Rosales, but he gets hurt all the time. Mm-hmm. Uh, boy, yeah, he just got hurt again against Chivas USA. Uh, yeah, it's going to be... It's going to be quite an art. All the MV- well, which is why people are bringing up Beckham at all. That's because, right. Because he has a very sexy stat. Tattoos. Uh, yeah. And a name. <laughs> well, that's tattoos. Give it to Danny Califf because who else does it? I can't right. get past his munchops seriously, though. <laughs> that's the problem. He won't be MVP for that. So. Uh, I, I, I think uh, I think uh, if it, if Beckham does well in the postseason, I think uh, it's very possible that. He could po- he could get the MVP strictly because of his name for one thing. Uh, nothing gets a, that, nothing it, gets more views. Nothing gets more uh, um, reads around the world than seeing that the person, the golden boy, the person that you spent crap tons of money on, is in fact well, the lead winner. That would be a good signal of whether he's coming back because you wouldn't give him the MVP <laughs> and have him go. Okay, he's going off to Knotts <laughs> County. Like, Let's hope not. He's, he's going to Port Vale. <laughs> Here's your MVP. I hope not. Let's hope that doesn't happen. That would be ugly. Um, all right. Okay. Enough Beckham and, and crap. And trashing oh. the league on its way out would be the other delightful outcome of that. Or joining uh, the joining the New York Cosmos in 2012. Oh, jeez. <laughs> New York Cosmos are going to be like what Dan Quayle used to be for David Letterman, just a cheap laugh line for whenever. We're just going to uh, – let's warm up the audience a little. Let's just say the words New York Cosmos and watch people giggle. <laughs> All right, I yeah, still have hope. Red Bulls look legitimate. <laughs> well, I, I'm going to hold out hope, Dan. Um, 